When you get stitches, a doctor threads a needle through your wound, pulls it tight to close the skin. As the stitches hold the edges together, the wound becomes inflamed as new cells begin to repair the tissue. Afterwards, connective tissues and collagen start to create skin. Then, blood vessels form to nourish these developing tissues, filling in the area. And over a few weeks, the wound will have healed together and the stitches are removed. What has been explained here is that when you get a deep cut, your skin edges are very separated. And you know, if these skin edges are left separated, it takes longer before healing can take place. And this usually leaves a very large scar. But when stitches are used, it brings the skin edges together so that the body can repair them more efficiently. Um, I want you to know that healing happens in four stages. Firstly, the blood clot forms. And the reason why the blood clot forms is to stop bleeding. And so, the second aspect of healing is that the white blood cells clean up bacteria. And that's why they, that spot that you see that you have a wound or that is stitched could be very red or swollen because the white blood at that moment is cleaning up the bacteria. Now, the third step is that fibrolast, they are the one that makes the collagen so when they make collagen it gives space for the new blood cells to then grow and once they grow um, the skin cells the skin cells begin to cover the wound that is new skins gradually begin to form afterwards connective tissues and collagen start to create skin then blood vessels form to nourish these developing tissues filling in the area 